Hello to all you bike fans tuning in. Today's Moto3 race is being held in the rolling hills of Tuscany, where the Italian Grand Prix is about to start. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We should have good conditions throughout the race. Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP17 for another round of this Moto3 Championship on this series that we got going for 2018. Today, we're at Mugello for the 2018 Italian Grand Prix here in what will be a pretty interesting race. This track is pretty fun. It's pretty fast and flowing. It's got the highest top speed of any track that the MotoGP sort of series goes to each year. So I think in the MotoGP bike, you actually hit like... 350 on a Ducati at max speed in a draft so it's quite scary going into turn one I don't know how these guys do it in real life just absolute balls of steel but anyway we're here in Moto3 last time out we had another victory we've actually won I think the last three Moto3 races on this uh, video game over the last sort of month so we've seemed to have got this uh, VR46 Sky Racing bike up to speed and we have definitely got this weekend off to a good start in this category by grabbing the pole once again and this time by a good seven tenths of a second so hopefully we can go on and convert this into another race win we'll see if the AI are at all challenging today it'll be interesting because as you can see there seven tenths of a second in qualifying that's quite a big margin in Moto3 or any sort of MotoGP category so without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this race and hopefully get through the first lap unscathed. Just hopefully head off into the distance, that's the ultimate goal. Got our teammate all the way down on the second to last row, or both of them actually. Everything's ready for the race to start now. We're just waiting for those lights to go out take these last few seconds to focus on the race ahead. Alrighty, here we go. Time to boogie. This is the last race that I'm doing on MotoGP 17 because, of course, MotoGP 18 comes out in a couple of weeks' time. So let's make it a good one. Good start. Such a long way to turn one. Already up into fifth gear. Oh, someone's up the inside. Oh, come on, hit that apex. I do love how all the ripple strips are painted in red white and green, the Italian colours, it's so cool. Oh, that's too much good. Definitely not one of the hardest tracks that we sort of run each year, but definitely hard to get right. You're going so fast, then he's sort of off and you're straight off the bike. I can't get away yet. Oh gosh. Uh, did not want to get hit by Martin. The third sector so far this weekend has been out a golden point. Just get off this last corner, come on. Good exit. Oh my god, here comes the draft. Oh shit. 
It'll be hard to pull away around here with the... Oh, well, apologies. With the draft, it's so hard to pull away in Moto 3 full stop. Not get this sector right. Oh, that way's out. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't sure which way he was going to go. So, one thing I probably should have mentioned, 10 laps, 50% race distance. See if we can hold on for that long. Oh, big dive bomb. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Yeah. Big move. Oh no, you... Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh my god. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, we just dropped like half the way down the field. Alright, it's going to have to be one heck of a comeback. God, if I could hit an apex, that'd be helpful. Riding like absolute shite right now. Uh, I'm so scared of getting cut off again that I keep ending up on the curve every time I go underneath someone. Uh, uh. Oh, that corner's so sketchy. Alright, now we do have a pretty decent bike and in regards to straight line speed, so hopefully we can get a couple here. It's our teammate just up there, I'm not sure. It's Foggia. Holy shit, balls. Don't cut me off again, please. Oh, God. I keep missing my apexes today. I don't know what's going on. I cannot get this bike slowed down and to get to the apex at all. Attempting to go with that pass. Come on. 
turn. Okay, so we've gained five spots. Since the uh, crash. Sorry. Uh, it's so hard to get the turn in point right when you're using a controller to control this incredible piece of machinery. Good exit. Nice. Alright, in the draft, in the draft. Oh god, it's not here. Again, trying to avoid getting hit. Oh, oh my god. I say I'm trying to avoid getting hit and then I just plow into the back of The AI just goes so slow in that corner compared to what I usually was doing in qualifying and practice. And oh, this, after all that work, oh, this is turning out to be a bloody disaster. How the hell am I supposed to pass 21 bikes in 5 laps? Alright, that was one way to pass two bikes in one corner. Oh my god, closing speed, closing speed! Oh my god, hit the apex, Joseph. Just freaking wipe yourself out again. Oh Jesus Christ, that scared this living shit out of me. Oh, -ho -ho. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was rude, but wow. That was scary. I've never had that happen before. Someone literally wipes out right in front of me. Uh, stay on the track. Uh Nothing happened. Wow. <laughs> it was just the immediate like sound of bike hitting tarmac, which just scared the living shit out of me. 
Alright, so we're up into 12. Four laps to go, so we can make something out of this. Just can't make any more mistakes. I really should have upped the responsiveness and the and quicken the change of direction. It's just not leaning in quick enough. Oh my god, I thought I was going to kill myself again. You get out of the way, you're too slow! I don't understand why the curbs do that on this game. On MotoGP 17, they just you touch them and they just flick you around like it's literally some mini jump or some shit. All right, but Foggy is well. Foggy has already already gone up from like 27th to 9th, so big decent ride from our Sky Racing teammate. Don't know why they're so far back in qualifying, but anyway. Alright, up inside the top 10. I reckon we can get a podium, come on. Wait, so that's 7, 6, 5th, 4th, 3rd, okay. Come on, we can do this. Three laps to get those two bikes in the distance. If our teammate would cooperate, that would be nice. Problem is, we're going to start to lose pace as the tyres wear out, so hopefully everyone else does at the same rate. Come on. Turn, baby, turn! Uh. Got a little bit too much of, a, of an arc. Uh. Alright, come on, see if we can get these two in the straight. Wow, they're a lot slower. One and a half laps left. Get these two, we get a top five, we get the two ahead of them. In the second. It's gonna have to be a lap and a half of perfection. Gonna 
decent lap so far. <laughs> Guy in the leopard bite looked like he went to do a can can halfway through the friggin' corner. quick work of them. Alright, so we've got one lap to catch those two in front of us. At this rate, we're actually not doing too bad. We do have a possibility that we can catch them. Come on. Alright, head down. Last lap. Let's make it happen. Fifty-nine six, quickest lap of the race so far. Gonna need to go quicker than that though. Tire left, come on. Mark, 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 mark. Good thing is they're fighting, so it's helping us catch up. Come on, we haven't got much left. Got to get a good run through this last sector. It's been the best sector that we've had all weekend. Come on. Uh. Got to get a good last corner. Oh, that's wide, that's very wide, that's very wide. No, Joseph, you knob. Oh, you've... Oh, what? Oh, I can't believe I just did that. What the hell? Oh, my God. Wow. We. I reckon if, we had, if I would have got that last corner right, it would have been a straight run to the line and we could have snagged third. Maybe even second, but... Oh, you absolute knob. Look at that. We were like two seconds quicker than the leader. The problem was I rode so ridiculously bad at the start of the race that I unfortunately just could not make up the ground that I lost after the... The first crash was... Uh, I would say it was, probably wasn't our fault. I felt like we were pretty much up the inside of whoever that was. But the second crash was definitely my fault. I just went full retard into the back of someone, but... Anyway, there it is. Disappointing result, but it was a pretty fun race nonetheless. Good to have a little race through the field, unlike last week where we pretty much just pulled away and it was just a Sunday ride around France. But here in Italy, love this track. Stay tuned for Moto2. That'll be coming up next on my channel. Hopefully we can finally get some luck in that category. It's funny, we've had some pretty bad luck today in Moto3, so hopefully we can use that good luck that I've been missing out on this year in Moto2 because so far this year on the Calex bike with Mark VDS we have been absolutely useless. We have pace every now and then and then in the race it always just seems to go backwards where we get caught up in incidents. I mean there's 29, oh no I think it's like 33 riders in Moto2 so it is quite ridiculous and if you do screw up then you're basically stuck in a pack of angry testosterone filled teenage boys. So anyway that is that last race on Moto, well, in Moto3 on MotoGP17. I know I'm using a full 2018 mod, so it doesn't really count, but definitely the last race as the new MotoGP18 game comes along soon. And for that, I'm going to continue doing my sort of race-by-race race, uh, series here on MotoGP 
set or the following the real MotoGP championship I, sh I should say but I'm also going to be starting up a career mode on that that you guys can follow episode by episode where we're going to start out in Moto3 and hopefully work our way up to Moto2 and through to MotoGP and hopefully at some point the MotoGP title so until next time stay tuned for Moto2 and until then I'll catch you later.